Okay, so last week we saw how to draw really dynamic poses and really lots of action and the week before that we did like really subtle like really just standing there not doing anything type of poses but what about everything that's in the middle what about when a character has to actually do something and act and express emotion and do all those things that's what i want to find out this week so join me uh, my name is javi i can draw and this is how to draw acting now when we're talking about acting most of the time we're thinking about motion and we're thinking about movement and what a character is going to do and what has been what is the character is thinking and all of that and you know the best way to approach this is not to think like usually an artist or an illustrator do but to think about what an animator do and i know that that is something that we i kind of did the last week when i did the dynamic poses but truth be told, like, there's a lot of acting involved in animation when you're drawing a character. So the best way to do this is to actually ask animators. I did my research, I found a lot of stuff that I was thinking about how to do, how to approach acting. And I found three texts that I think that you're going to like a lot. So let's view them. Well, the first one is, well, not a text, it's a video. It is by Bobby Beck. Bobby Beck is a Pixar animator and he did a video for Animation Mentor. Animation Mentor is a, an online school for animation where you have tutors that are animators on other companies that they help you and get better in animation. And well, he has this video about acting for animators and it's about acting, about the goals that an animator has to do when they approach a character and all of this also applies for you know not animation and just drawing characters acting and it also talks about getting lost in the character and some type of like method acting it talks about using lots of reference especially filming yourself if you ever seen like one of those behind the scenes videos from disney movies you will see that the kid the disney animators they just film themselves a lot doing the actions that they are, have to do for the characters so using a lot of reference like to filming uh, people or to watching photos of people and how they move depending on the type of body and the age they have also film they'll film them themselves doing the things that they have to actually animate and all of that like all of the research that you have to do in order to get the character right now there is well this one is a text this one is also on animation mentors blog not the youtube channel this one is by dana boatway and this is called 10 advanced acting performance tips for animators and this is, you know, there are 12 rules for animation that is like, uh, like, you know, stretch and squish and exaggeration and anticipation and, well, maybe you, well, maybe I could link you to a, a link that talks about that because it's pretty useful as well. But this goes just a bit beyond that and it talks about the new ones in when you are animating a character. Once again, all of this also applies to when you are just uh, drawing and not animating. So it talks about like simplification, acting within a pose, layering, movement style, body language. These are all really useful stuff to take into consideration when you're doing, because you know, usually when, when we do a lot of illustration, if you go into places like DeviantArt, which I love, there's a lot of just, you know, just pretty girls just sitting doing nothing and the rest of you know the reason why the illustration might be good is because of the color all the lighting but the character itself is just a statue it's not doing anything and it becomes a bit boring like the most interesting pieces of illustration and art are most of the times the ones that are actually telling you a story and they have some emotion put to it and if there are characters like the character has to have some feeling or some direction or something is going on with that character that relates to to something that may have happened to us or something like that and you know of all of this just simple posing or simple portraits of just pretty girls it can get pretty boring so let's just go and try to get you know go further not just stay with the pretty girl portrait you know and last now that this tiny rant has ended this one is on a website called animationarena.com this is by Doron Mir and it's about just 
adding you know some tips and advices on how to make acting believable it's pretty good it just does add just a bit over what the video and the blog on animation mentor talked about but still I found it pretty useful it is pretty concise it has like very clear ideas so that's why I like the text and that's it, this, those are the three that I'm going to recommend. Also, there are going to be some extra tip and advices that I found that I put them all together in a Pinterest board for you to get. All of that is going to be linked on the link below, so make sure to go there and click on the links and get all this research read because, well, tomorrow I'm going to get all, all, all the information and everything I got from this texts and videos and try to apply it and try to make like a tiny script and tr start like trying to get a performance out of characters like and, and you know trying to create these characters and get the psychology behind them and it's a very complicated thing to do i thought that this like originally i wanted to start this by doing like well how to add body language to an expression you know since i did an expression video with faces i was like well what about when the body is expressing something but suddenly i realized that i had to go into acting so that's why i'm suddenly doing this very very complicated thing in just a week so wish me luck and let's see how that goes my name is Javier and I can draw this is it for today thank you so much for watching like subscribe a little bit leave a comment you know all of that I'll see you on the next video. Bye!